Hey, what's up everyone, Coach Danny. In this segment, I'm gonna be talking about the wrestling drop step. So basically in the previous video, I talked about how you wanna lower your level, all right? In this segment, you're gonna learn how to actually shoot in. Check it out. All right, if you've watched the four previous segments, now you're probably very accustomed by now on how I want you to position yourself, move around, you probably practice how you wanna level change, and now, the bread and butter of wrestling, of why most martial artists will want to enhance their wrestling skills for MMA, for example, is going to be about shooting, right? So takedowns is the name of the game for wrestling. So the drop step, aka shooting, is the bread and butter of closing that distance, all right? So in the previous video, I talked about how you want to actually lower your level and then drop that lead knee. So if my opponent is right here and I'm grabbing onto his legs, this step right here is only covering the distance about the size of where my knee drop is, all right? So this is a great way to practice it when you're first starting out. But in reality, my opponent's not gonna be standing right in front of me. There's gonna be that distance that I need to cover, that distance I need to travel in order to catch his legs. So when we talk about wrestling, that distance is gonna be at a couple of feet apart. If we're talking about mixed martial arts, for example, that distance is going to be even further away because of kicks and punches. All right. So if you're doing MMA and you want to enhance your wrestling skills, you got to keep that in mind. All right. You got to stay out of the striking zone and even cover even a longer distance for your shot. All right. But what we want to do today is show you guys how to drop step. So basically the drop step is going to be from your wrestling stance, dropping your level. And now what I want to do is as I drop the lead knee, my back leg is gonna propel me forward to finish that movement, all right? So slowly, as I lower my level, I'm gonna go in with my arms, and the arm motion, by the way, they have to be glued to your body, but there's gonna be a fraction of a second where you're gonna reach out and cut behind the opponent's knees, all right? So you're gonna clamp down with your palms, like a monkey grip, right behind the knees here, all right? And once they attach there, you don't let go. You want to actually imagine that those legs are Velcroed and there's another piece of Velcro to your body where once it glues it in, then it doesn't let go, right? It doesn't detach, right? It's glued in right there. So you're going to use your arms. It's almost like uh, sometimes I like to visualize like uh, alien movies, for example. You know, the mouth, it's just a, whoo, it just grabs it. Same thing when you go in for the shot, it's almost like whoo, and you bring those arms in just like the alien's mouth. All right, and then the drop step, that back leg has to follow through as fast as possible. So if you're slow with the back leg and you drop step here, boom, and this one comes up very slowly and it's sluggish, you're gonna be late, right? The person's gonna sprawl or he's gonna move his feet. So what you wanna be practicing and drilling all the time is bringing the back leg forward as quickly as possible. Once you have the level change here, this back leg, boom, this one here, is as quickly as this one comes into position, the faster your double leg is gonna become. All right, think about this. If I started running outside and I take a step, one, if my back leg is slow and doesn't come back up, that means I'm not running fast, right? So the back leg has to recover as quickly as possible. So keep that analogy in mind as if you were running. When you're shooting, it's the same thing, right? As you shoot, one, boom, this back leg has to come up in a fraction of a second, blazing fast, all right? So you wanna be drilling this a lot. The second thing is, think about sprinting, for example. When you're starting off the blocks, you're crouched in, right? You're not standing upright like this and diving in forward, all right? I don't wanna dive in forward. In a second, I'm gonna show you what I mean by this, but think about lowering your level and not diving, like if you're diving into the water, right? So you're gonna lower your level first and then you shoot in, boom, and then you step it up, okay? So those things are very important. Now, common mistake, once again, talking about the level change, a lot of people will bring their head down to level change and shoot in like this, all right? That's wrong, person's gonna snap you down or push your head in misdirection, all right? And then you can't shoot in. The second thing is they dive in on an angle like this, all right? So if my opponent's here, they'll dive in like this, boom, super fast, but it's coming in this angle and that's wrong. And the last thing is the trailing legs position. So if I shot in, watch this, towards an angle on the camera, watch my right foot. As I lower my level, 
I'm still on the balls of my foot. But look, one, and then they drag the shoelaces down. They drag the foot as such. And look, this makes it very slow. My trailing leg is going to be very sluggish. Okay, so I want to imagine if you're running like this, if you're running outdoors and you're dragging your toes or the top of your feet, you're going to be running fast. So you want to step it up as quickly as possible. As you lower your level, boom. Try not to leave that and don't broom the floor or the mats as we say. All right. Now I'm going to bring in Alex. I want to show you guys as you level change, how you want to do this. Okay. So I brought in Alex and I have a stick here that I want to show for explanation purposes. Okay. So when I talked about not diving in, this is what I mean. The angle of your shot doesn't want to be in this direction where the stick is going diagonally downwards like this. Okay, this is wrong, right? This is the wrong way of shooting. What I want to do is I want to imagine I'm perfectly perpendicular with my mat area, with my ground. And now my shot will travel a distance from here. I'll lower my level and then boom, that's going to be my drop step. It's going to penetrate through the opponent in this fashion and not in this manner like this. All right. So, um, if I practice, for example, with Alex, just so you guys can see, as I'm going to lower my level here, now I'm in a perfect alignment for where I'm shooting. Because my shot is going to be directed at his hips and his legs. So basically, I want my upper body to be attached right here to the upper part of his legs, right? My head and my shoulders are going to be glued to his hip. His quadriceps are going to be glued to my chest. And I'm going to be tying up his knees so he can't sprawl. All right, so the quicker I can get that movement, the more successful is going to be my shot. All right, so I'm going to be here, lower my level, and watch this. As I step it in, one, and boom. This is where I attach myself to his legs, okay? So here we are. I'm going to level change, and from here, I'm going to run through him. See, I'm not going to dive in this manner. I'm going to make myself as small as possible from here and shoot in a straight line, just like I showed you with the stick. All right, so as I get to here, there's no setups. In reality, I'm going to be doing some setups, but just for the technique purpose, I'm going to lower here, and as I drive, boom. And now I'm going to run past him. Okay, so it's very important to practice not just stopping onto the ground. You want to go through him and imagine you're not shooting here. You're actually shooting right here. And as you drive here, then that's when you would stand back up and... That's the purpose of a correct drop step. So once again, remember this, I don't want to be diving in this manner. So I don't want the ground to absorb the impact. I want, when I project myself, that powerful shot, your body weight is driving forward. I don't want the mats or the ground to absorb the impact. I want the opponent, the opponent's legs to absorb that impact as I'm driving through and then I could cut the corner. All right, so from here, one and here. Boom. And that's where I would just cut the angle from there. So there you have it, guys. Another wrestling tutorial for you guys to practice to enhance those takedown shots. All right, guys, leave us a thumbs up. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.